All right, so I'm going to tell you exactly what to do, how to do it, so you can just let go. All right, so uh, just let me just tell you a little about the addiction. Uh, addiction is that despite the fact that it's causing you harm and you keep doing it, okay? You continue doing it. No matter what, you continue doing it. So it's almost like um, it's urge to do something that's hard to control or stop. You know, like a cigarette, alcohol, drugs, you know, um, I don't know, chocolate, sweets, you know, they're all sort of addictions. And it always meets the emotional needs. Because emotional freedom works with the emotions, it works wonders with this sort of things. Yeah. But if it's a habit, habit is slightly different. Yeah. Habit does not meet uh, emotional need. There's no emotional attachment to habit. So you need to understand the difference. This is quite important. So you need to decide, is this a habit or is this an addiction? Because if it's a habit, normally, you know, they say it takes about 21 days to overcome a habit. But with the addiction, that's not the same. There's an emotional need. For instance, for me, like chocolate cakes are amazing because in my childhood, that was um, re that represent love to me. So whenever my parents bought me like a chocolate cake, you know, that meant like they love me. So every time I see a chocolate cake, I want to feel that love again. Yeah, I want to feel their love. So I love chocolate cakes. I find it quite difficult to sort of let go. But if we take that love from the chocolate cake and give a different meaning to that, it changes because we're working with the subconscious mind so we're changing the subconscious programming does that make sense to everyone yeah okay so i want you to what i want you to do is now um <laughs> i want you to tell me um what you want to work on again and i want you to tell me craving level i want you to imagine it i want you to imagine whatever you want to give up Feel like this is right in front of you. And I want you to look at it, feel it, sense it. And I want you to tell me the craving level from zero to 10. And 10 means like, oh, you just have to have it. Okay. So let me know where you are. Again, whatever it is, if it's sweet, chocolate, baklava, just put it down. Baklava, nine, I have to have it. It's in front of you. Eight, okay, eight for chocolate. So you want to have the chocolate up yeah okay it's quite high eight <coughs> yeah that is, Simon can do that as well whatever he's kind of wants it he can put it down so we can always check it afterwards um what the intensity level is okay Jenny seven Zainab nine Sangeeta sweet five okay Monica is seven meat. Okay, she wants to meet. Okay. Uh, what is yours, Debbie? You said nine and ten. What is your one? Remind me. Oh, night snacking. But you need to say what night snacking is. Yeah, that's the important one. You know, what it is that you want to, because it could be a habit. If it's just a general, you, you know, you, know um, you can have it, anything. That could be a habit. So it needs to be a craving. Hi, BY. Thank you for joining. Uh, we're just having a look at our cravings at the moment. So if you want to write down, I want you to uh, think about your craving, something that you have to have it, and there is an emotional attachment to it. So you can just write it in the chat what it is that you want to give up, set your intention. Also, tell me the um, sort of like the intensity level your craving level. So how much do you crave? From zero to 10, 10 being like extensive craving. So let me know how it feels. Okay. Five, Alistair, comfort eating. Oh, you still got this kebab pizza and stuff. Crap, food all in front of them like, oh, what happened? <clears throat> okay, that has gone down. <coughs> you know what is better, Alistair? Choose one thing. <coughs> Maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe choose like um, cigarettes or something. Yeah, or choose like pizza or something because when you put so many things and it could be quite confusing for the subconscious mind because they could be relating to different emotional stuff. 
yeah? Like for instance, uh, pizza might be relating to a completely different event, uh, cheeseburger might be relating to a completely different event. So if you only have one thing, it will be much easier, okay? You're, you feel like you're eating a cheeseburger, okay? Uh, two slices of chicken, some rye bread when hungry, potatoes do. But Debbie, this could be hunger, you see, that's different. Craving is slightly different, yeah? Craving is like, you have to have it no matter what. You go to a shop to buy it in the middle of the night, yeah? So think about it. I can't hear you, you muted, Debbie. Can I ask a question, Edda? Yeah, sure. Um, when you say some of this could be habit related, mm -hmm. does that mean that I'm wasting your time <laughs> today? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not sure where some of this could be habit related or could be craving. <laughs> yeah, so habit is, like I said, the habit is like, you don't have to have it, but it's nice, you know, you, like a nighttime snacking can be a habit, okay? That's what I was saying to you, Debbie, because it, you don't crave for certain food. It could be anything, yeah? But with the craving, it has to be a certain food. Like for instance, um, you have to have a chocolate, no matter what. You can have all sorts of other things in the house, but your brain is still going chocolate, 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 chocolate. No matter I don't, what. I don't crave anything. You don't crave anything? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you are so good. All right. So, B, do you want to put, I don't know what your name is, but do you want to put your one as well? So if you have any cravings, so we're going to be checking it in the beginning and at the end as well. Uh, so uh, we are kind of testing it to see how it works. Because I'm going to choose one person to work with. And what we're going to do is we all going to kind of uh, work all together. And at the end, I'm going to come back and ask you what your cravings are. Even though I'm not working with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis, you're still going to get some borrowing benefits. It's still going to help you reduce it so even if you whatever you're craving it if it's in front of you that could be much better for you as well or you can just imagine it just like you know Alistair was doing cheeseburger if it's in front of me I will have it now or something but like if it's a cigarette just feel the cigarette in front of you you know just there if you have it in front of you it's so much more powerful whatever you have it so we can just work on that all right is everybody ready yeah, any questions, anything, feel free. Do you have something, Sangeeta, yeah? You're okay with it? Yeah, all right, good. All right, so what we're gonna do is now, um, as I mentioned to you earlier, I'm just gonna say it for the B. Um, if you wanna be on the hot seat, just do this on a one-on-one -on -one basis. There's a form that you need to complete so you can be on the hot seat going forward as well. So I'll be doing like limiting beliefs. I will be doing traumas. I will be doing, I don't know, uh, stress and anxiety, you know, anything the emotional relating, even physical pain, um, because quite lots of physical pain can be relating to emotional issues. So we're gonna be working on the different things going forward. I'm planning to do this every other week. So feel free to come and join. Okay, how eating can tune your body? I just have to eat at night. It's sometimes quite a lot. Yeah, it could be sort of maybe you need to go to bed be earlier, Debbie, or maybe what you need, um, maybe eat your dinner a little late because it seems like your body is kind of getting hungry, isn't it? Maybe if you have like four or five hours break after your dinner. You know, your body wants to replenish yourself. So you need to also consider that. Also, it could be water as well. You know, it could be lots of different things. All right. So if everyone is ready, let's start. So, uh, all right. So a couple of people completed the form. So for today, I'm going to go with Monica. Uh, Monica is a health coach. Uh, she's amazing. Um, she's, and I think this is quite important for her to overcome, but if you have time, I might go with somebody else as well to help them, but this should help all of you anyway. All you need to do is just repeat what we are saying, and you can just kind of park your cravings on the site, okay? So you don't need to sort of, um, um, you know, think about it. You can think about it, you know, there's nothing wrong if you feel it. You know, you can do your own cravings. <clears throat> you can even use your 
<clears throat> excuse me, you can't even use your own wording, but I want you to concentrate on your body, your emotion. That's the most important thing. What's happening? Just when you think about it, yeah, think about your craving and just feel where do you feel it? Is it in your head? Is it in your heart? What sort of emotions coming up with it? Just imagine that whatever you have it, the food, cigarette, the item in front of you, yeah? How does it make you feel, you know? Just feel that in your body, what's happening with you, yeah? This is the important thing. Just, you know, you notice your cravings. You say, you know, my craving is five, six, seven, eight, but also notice it, how it makes you feel in your body, yeah? Where about is it? So does it have a color? Does it have a shape? Just notice that sort of things, all right? So I'm gonna ask, okay, all of you are muted already. So I'm gonna do this with Monica. So Monica, so hi, tell then. me, hi, thank you for volunteering as well, Monica. It's so lovely to see you. So thank tell you. me, uh, where about is this feeling when you think about meat? Let's, um, I think chicken, is it chicken mostly? Okay. Well, mostly, yeah, mostly chicken. When I go to my mom, they used to um, also make uh, uh, pork, which uh, I really don't like. Okay. And I usually don't eat red meat, but every time I eat meat or um, we have a little shop, which is kind of organic and without preservative or mm -hmm. any additives. So um, I just can't stop myself buying like uh, pork sausage. And uh, even when I eat it, I just feel bad. <laughs> okay. So, so if I, you don't like it, you still eat it, yeah? Yeah, is this something I, can, I can't really say why? Okay. Or maybe because I know all the other uh, meat in the shop, they are treated with uh, some kind of uh, 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 preservatives and I'm, I'm um, uh, I'm allergic with this uh, E200 to E300, these E letters. Mm -hmm. So it, I think like subconsciously, I know they are not good for me. I'm trying to eat less, but I just really, I, I really want to give up meat. I can imagine sometimes having like a, a fish or a, a seafood uh, because I know they are very healthy because mm -hmm. of the oh my god oils okay uh, so we work on the pork and the chicken today then we leave the fish out yeah 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 because we already don't eat red meat so we concentrate on that okay yeah so did you say that it was seven or eight just remind me seven seven okay great Brilliant. So where about is it? Do you feel it when you think about it? I want you to think about those sausages, this meat that you are eating. Uh, it's, I think it's more in my head. In your head. Okay. Yeah. Have you done EFT before? Um, yeah, we, we had, we had a, a session together. Oh yeah. Yeah. I remember about yeah, traumas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking, I'll completely forget about that, yeah. All right, yeah, so and, I'm familiar with it. And my other problem with meat, because I know it's making my body acidic and it's producing mucus inside. And because I have a, a dust allergy, that's already is, is a constant inflammation in my body. So giving up meat, then it would reduce all of this inflammation also and, uh, and the mucus. And then reducing the, the acidity of the body. So the bacteria and viruses would not really thrive in my body. And uh, I'm, I'm really, really hoping it would, it would work because I want this for, for years. Mm. And I, I tried once, I, I, I went vegan for three weeks, mm. but at that time I didn't know how to really cook. Mm. But in a vegan way so I end up not really eating too much fresh fruits and veggies uh, and I kind of get weak in three weeks and then I introduce fish and chicken back in my in my diet mm. but now now I had a, a, a closer idea how to cook uh, vegan and then I want to give a try Okay, so you have just, tried it in the past, yeah? Yeah. 
Okay. And I'm telling you, it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, because there could be lots of layers. Yeah. So we're going to have a look yeah. at one of the layers today, but there could be lots of, lots of layers. Because you mentioned that your mom used to cook this. Yeah. Yeah. To cook. Did you enjoy it at the time? Um, actually, when I was little, I don't remember enjoying pork. Mm. I, I love chicken and fish. Uh, and also, when I learned later how dangerous pork meat can be, it just, I think it gave me another push not to eat it. Mm. I'm just kind of thinking what sort of emotional attachment you have because your mom is cooking. So when you eat mm -hmm. the kind of sausages, pork sausages, mm -hmm. is it kind of like bringing those memories back to you? Mm. It could be lots of, yeah, lots of different things. Yeah, it could be because... Yeah. Um, when we were living in Transylvania, we used to uh, cut pork like um, with other family members. So like two, three families, we bought the pork and then we cut it. Mm. Uh, and then, I mean, day because I was little and we were always in the room because we didn't like to see it. Maybe also that was also a, a thing. Um, but then... From there, I was kind of fine with it. Mm. Okay. So we used to eat, I, I think we used to eat uh, pork quite a lot. Okay, good. Let's start. Let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, it might bring more <laughs> memories to you. It might bring different emotions to you. Just kind of tune into your body and just see what's going to come up. Don't hold anything back. Just talk to me. Let me know what's happening. Yeah. So yeah. if everybody is ready as well, just um, just kind of repeat after me. If you want to, you can just repeat what I'm saying exactly or you can use your own words as well. Because I'm going to start, for instance, like even though I have meat cravings or chicken cravings, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. So you can say, even though I have cigarette cravings, I deeply and completely love and accept myself, yeah? So you can change it to your own cravings as well. And just imagine it in front of you, how much you want it, just look at it, observe it, and check it with your body. Why do I want this? You know, why not something else? You know, what is this? Just keep asking yourself, because your body is so clever, it knows all the answers. Because most of the time, we want to go to our childhood. We want to experience the same love, same experiences. You know, we want to feel our parents' love or something. We get love from food. So we want to kind of recognize this and give it up. Okay? So, Yalda, I'm hoping Simon is still there so he can start smelling his cigarette as well. <laughs> <laughs> Smell it and just feel it how it feels. All right. So you imagine your pork sausages, your chicken, whatever you want to, yeah, just right in front of you, just feel it, it smells amazing, it just like tastes so gorgeous, yeah, and you just want to feel it in your mouth, just feel like this, all right, so we are starting, let's go with this one, <coughs> <coughs> we're going to go with the side of the hand here, I just showed a quick points um, for people that doesn't know, so this is the side of the hand, we just tap on this, so instead of sort of tapping on the um, instead of kind of using needles, we use our hands. So we tap on the side of the hand. We have another point beginning of the eyebrows just here. We got one just end of the eyebrows, just the bone a bit. Yeah. We got one underneath the eye. I mean, this only works when you're tapping as well, because if you don't tap and if you keep saying to yourself, you're just affirming to yourself, make, in, reinforcing it. We don't want it. So we, I want you to tap on yourself to release the blockages. That's the important thing, okay? So we got different points and we got one on top of the head. So these are different points, okay? Everyone's comfortable with it, I'm hoping. Alp and BY, I'm hoping that you're okay with it. So if you have any question, let me know before we start. Okay, let's sit out with the side of the hand. So Monica, just repeat after me and just tell me whatever it comes up, even though. Even though. I have a uh, meat craving, let's say meat craving. I have meat craving. I deeply and completely. I deeply and completely. Accept how I feel. 
accept how I feel. Mm -hmm. Even though. Even though. I crave sausages. I crave sausages. And chicken. And chicken. I deeply and completely. I deeply and completely. Acknowledge how I feel. Acknowledge how I feel. Mm -hmm. Even though. Even though. I still crave chicken and sausages. I still crave chicken and sausages. I'm okay. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to go to the face points now. Just go here. My mom used to cook pork. My mom used to cook pork. But I know that it's not good for me anymore. But I know it's not good for me anymore. There are so many E numbers. No, I have so many E numbers. So many preservatives. So many preservatives. I don't really want to eat it. I don't want to really want to eat it. But I get weak. But I get weak. And I have to eat it. And I have to eat it. Mm -hmm. Go to the top of your head. It creates uh, inflammation. It creates inflammation. What else it does, you told me? Makes your body acidic? Yeah, it makes my body acidic. Yeah. And creates mucus. Yeah, and creates mucus. It is not good for me. It is not good for me. But I have to have it. But I have to have it. I can't stop having it. I can't stop having it. I don't know why. I don't know why. I get weak. I get weak. Now I feel like I have to have meat. I feel like I have to have meat. To get stronger. To get stronger. So where's that kind of belief is coming from? Are you asking me? Yeah. <laughs> the belief it's coming from my childhood. Okay. So what is it? You have to eat meat to get stronger. Yeah, and um, it kind of, I kind of, I feel that I had to eat it because uh, okay. if, I di if I didn't eat it, I would just go hungry. Oh, you go hungry if you don't have meat. Yeah. Have you yeah, my, my mom would say that whatever she's cooking, we have to eat it. Otherwise, we won't, we won't, we won't get other food. So. Okay, but she didn't say you have to eat your meat, yeah? No, just food eat the food i make okay eat the food so if you eat the food you make would you get hungry no you want, would you get weak no okay so have you seen these bodybuilders they all sort of weak and they don't eat any meat they are so big and so strong so powerful so what do they do different well they eat more fruits and vegetables hmm because uh, I mean, like green leaves, they have they have uh, the same uh, ingredients like meat, mm. so they can get from there. Okay, a lot of proteins, and also from seeds and chia seeds, bulgur, yeah. grains, a lot of grains. Yeah. So, if it works for them, wouldn't it work for you? Yeah, definitely. So, why do you get still hungry then? Why do you get weak? I don't know. I think because I, I didn't eat raw, because raw food has energy. Mm. A cooked food or fried food has no energy. It's mm -hmm. bad food. You can say that. Mm. And I definitely have to eat more uh, raw food because then energy comes from there. Yeah. <clears throat> so when you think about it, energy doesn't come from dead animals. Yeah. Is that true? Um, yeah. How true I, is that from zero to 10, 10 being extremely true? Um, nine. Okay. So what is the one? You still have to have the meat, yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay. Tell me why. Um, now I'm just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I, th I, th I think, yeah, I think it's more like, um, you know, the society and, and the way everyone in my family thinks about mm -hmm. meat. It's uh, now that I live alone, it's not a must, but it's just in my subconscious that 
the way I also learn like a chef how to cook mm -hmm. and um, almost every food has kind of a, a part of an animal in it. Mm. Yeah. But, but recently uh, our food has too much chemicals in it and then mm. this part makes me uncomfortable to eat it and also because of this uh, <clears throat> factory farming how they raised uh, recently animals with a lot of pain and suffering and uh, mm. and chemicals again not really food they never see the, the sun mm -hmm. it, it makes me very sad yeah oh, why do you feel that sadness in my heart okay concentrate on that think about those animals yeah did you have an animal Pat? Uh, not now. Before in I, in the past, we had the dog. Dog, yeah. We have dogs, yeah. Yeah, and you know they have personality, they have souls. Yeah. You know how yeah. amazing they are. So think yeah. about it when you eat the animals. Yeah, even that you don't see that, you know, that personality, that soul, but it's sort of it was there at one point, isn't it? Yeah. I want to feel that. And I want you to actually imagine this sausage in front of you, okay? And I want you to mm -hmm. imagine what their personality would have been like, yeah? That pigs. I mean, pigs are amazing animals. They're very clever as well, aren't they? Yeah. Maybe have a look at it. Just feel it. Their sausage is an actual pig, a little tiny pig. Mm. Uh, how does it make you feel? Yeah. It doesn't make me feel good at all. Yeah. <clears throat> all right good i want to reassociate everything we're doing the reprogramming now yeah so that pork that chicken think about the chicken little chick i had small chicks as well when i was growing up i'm turning to a chicken one of them just think about that yeah mm -hmm. and just when you look at it just turn them into a chicken even though they might look amazing on the plate it might look really really great but actually, they have a soul, they have a personality, just like us, just like your dog. Yeah. Yeah. How does that feel? It doesn't feel good. No, it doesn't, no. does it? And I, I want you to be... see all these E numbers inside them. I want you to see all this antibiotics and everything. When you look at the sausage, um, you know, when you look at your chicken, I want you to see all those inside them. Okay, they're almost like talking to you. All these E numbers are coming out. Mm -hmm. Okay, how does that feel? It feels even more terrible, to be honest, because I feel like uh, they are poisoning me and I don't want to be poisoned. Okay, all right. So go to the top of your head now. Take a deep breath. <sighs> so I want you to look at that sausage that gorgeous, you know, just being fried, however you like it. And there's a nice chicken piece next to it. How does it feel? How much do you want it now? I don't want it at all, to be honest. Is it all I don't, gone? It, even it looks good, but I don't, I don't feel good about them at all. You sure? But you, you know, taste yeah. it in your mouth, put a little bit in your mouth, just feel it. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to anymore. <laughs> Uh, uh, I feel sick about it. <laughs> okay, what is it they're putting you off? Why uh, do you want it now? Think about your childhood, you know, everybody was there or having fun, you know, eating it. You're going to be hungry. Do you rather yeah. go hungry? Yeah. Really? It, even if I see myself like a zombie who wanted to eat that meat. Mm, you feel like a zombie? Yeah. Okay. So I want you to kind of fast forward a little bit. You go into your, your parents' house, for instance, yeah? So they bring you this pork and everybody loves it. Everybody wants to eat it. So what are they going to say to you if you don't want to eat that pork? I think now, now that I'm, I'm not a, a, a small child, uh, they, they, will, they will respect it. How are you going to feel though? What sort of emotions coming to you when you say no to your parents? Is that anything coming up? You know, that could happen to all of you. You know, maybe you're a smoker and your friends going and saying, come on, we're going to go and smoke. You know, you know, don't be a pussy. Come on, go. Let's do. How are you going to feel? I want you to feel the emotions. Yeah. 
What are you going to yeah. say? Yeah, I would definitely reject them just nicely, not mm -hmm. really offended. Okay. And I would tell them that I don't feel like eating meat. Mm -hmm. Is it all the meat or just the pork, sausage, chicken? What is it? Mm, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think definitely, uh, definitely these big animals, the pork, sausage, cow, or yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but what are you going to do then if you're not going to eat it? Are you going to go hungry completely? So what is the solution? Let's find a solution. Well, they, they, usually, they usually do stews like vegetable stews or... Uh, potato or salad so I would choose just those ones okay all right maybe you're going to see yourself going to a butcher yeah or shops or something all right you're just passing by what is coming to you I want you to think about it just look at those lovely sausages they're your favorites which ones are your favorites the ones that doesn't have any e numbers they look really good and they really yeah the house uh, homemade ones yeah Hung Hungarian yeah. I feel sick in my stomach right now, to be honest. Okay. All right. I had the same feeling when, when uh, I stopped eating sugar and when uh, after a couple of weeks, uh, I, uh, I lost the craving. And uh, when I passed near a, a bakery, I, I felt the same sickness in my stomach. And I'm not really eating uh, sugary, really sugary stuff mm. or sweets. I used to choose uh, those one with the uh, with the uh, fruits or uh, xylitol, which is a, a different uh, sugar, which is good for diabetic one, diabetic mm. people. So mm. now I can relate this with with that craving. Okay, so if there was one thing that might make you eat it, what would that be? You know, anything, maybe going out to restaurant with your friends or something, something. What will make you eat meat again? I don't feel anything which would make me eat again. No? No. Definitely I would definitely one. choose a, I would choose a pasta of a veg vegetarian pasta or, or salads. Mm -hmm. There are amazing salads, I think. Okay, but is it going to kind of keep you full? Are you going to get weak? How are you going to get all that energy from? You know, what are you going to do? What are you going to replace it with? That's important. I think this energy thing, it just... I mean, I know meat doesn't give you energy because it's a dead thing and it's even cooked or fried. Uh, but salad, I mean, a salad gives you energy. I used to eat a lot of times in the morning just a banana. Mm -hmm. And it is even better than any other breakfast because mm -hmm. it really has energy in it. Mm -hmm. it. It kind of feeds you on a cellular level, isn't it? Maybe juice, yeah. something that's more filling yeah. you know, than this. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to all of you to close your eyes. I want you to imagine that food that you were craving, okay? I want you to look at that food and just feel how it feels, how much you want it. Just go in there and I want you to feel the time so you really enjoy that, really, really enjoy the first time you felt like, oh my God, this is the most amazing thing that I can't give up. I have to have it. I want you to just look at it. When was the first time you felt like this? What was happening? Was somebody giving to you? Or were you just tasting it? What was happening? I want you to feel it. And I want you to feel the emotion come with it. That's the important thing. Feel the emotion. What sort of emotions were happening with it? Okay. And what I want to do is whatever the emotion was, say love, you was feeling love coming from this food. I want you to imagine, you know, just kind of taking your hands, going to this food and pick up that emotions, whatever it is, love, maybe comfort. I want you to pick the emotions up. Yeah, emotion up, and I want you to put it in your heart. Just kind of feel it, whatever it is. It could be with the cigarette, it could be with the cheeseburgers. Just pick it up, feel the emotions, whatever you meant to you. Pick it up and put it in your heart, and know that that emotion 
does not belong to that food anymore, that item anymore, whatever it is, and it's within you. So you do not need to reach out to that food anymore for that emotion. Just feel the emotion, that's very important. It could be more than one emotion. If it is, just go and pick it up and just say to yourself, you don't belong to that. You don't belong to cigarette. You don't belong to alcohol or sweet or buckler or whatever it is. You belong to me and I want to go and pick it up, put it in your heart. And just feel that love for yourself. Feel that emotion for yourself, whatever that food was giving to you. Was it self-love? Was it confidence? Whatever it is, I want to feel it. I want to make that emotion so big in your heart and just feel it. And it's expanding and expanding. And realize that you don't need to get that from the food because it's already within you you're taking your power back okay just imagine it's all coming to you and it's always been with you you just decided to give it to that item but now it's time to take it back and just have a look at it how you feel about this i want to see it as it is whatever it is yeah just like we did with the monica is there any e numbers on it is it any good for you? Is it sporting you? Is it feeding you? What is it doing to you, actually? Because it's not meeting the emotional uh, emotional requirement that you need. Yeah? Because you're taking that emotion back to you. <clears throat> so have a look. What else is doing to you? <clears throat> if it's a sweet thing, See the sweet as it is. What is that doing to you? See the crisps, you know, how much fat it has around it. And when you put it in your body, is it serving you? Is it feeding your body or is it blocking your arteries? You know, just feel everything what's happening from the moment that you put in your mouth. And I want to experience it. You know, pick it out, put it in your mouth and see how it feels. Do you really want to put that in your mouth? If you do, again, feel the emotion. What emotion you're getting from it? Why do you want to put it in your mouth? Just feel it. And when you notice the feeling, just take the emotion back from the item, put it in your heart. And know that that item does not have self-love, does not have confidence, does not have, I don't know, self-esteem, doesn't have anything. Okay? Just feel that. Everything is coming to you. And just feel it, it's going down, you're eating it, it's in your mouth, how it feels. You know? Just feel it and you swallow it. What sort of effect is having on your body? How is your body reacting? If it's sugar, for instance, it might be raising your insulin levels. When the insulin raise, it's like a war in the body, okay? Your body is going, oh my God, there's a big war here. You know, Sunday... Uh, soldiers and we need to reduce the sugar level this is not right and there's a big massive like a war happening in your body just feel it i know you're just eating you're just taking a couple of seconds <clears throat> but what is the effect afterwards i'm going to feel that all right everything and i want you to again look at that it's right in front of you maybe it's a cigarette look at it you know pick it up take it Smoke, how does it feel? It's going into your chest. What's it doing to your lungs? How is it affecting you? Just feel it. Is this what you want to do to yourself? Just feel it. Why, you do, why, why have you been doing this to yourself? It's a habit. What's that doing to you? Just feel it. Okay? <clears throat> and when you're ready, I want to push that away from you. Just imagine pushing it away and saying no, and you're feeling good about yourself because you're saying yes to yourself. Push it away with your hand and say yes to yourself or no to that foot because you know deep down you don't really need that. You really don't need it on a cellular level. Just feel it. You are stronger than this, okay? So when you're ready, just open your eyes, come back to the room, and now, Monica, how does it feel? What's the intensity at the moment? How does it feel? It's definitely a 10. <clears throat> I, I think I just really needed a real uh, 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 a push to bring that decision because 
uh, I, I couldn't say one good reason why it's good for me. Mm -hmm. But now I have many reasons why not. And, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it guides me back when I was learning to cook at the school. Mm -hmm. And usually when we cooked, uh, when we, we cooked always something with meat, and we, we never had enough food at the school to feed mm -hmm. all of us. So we were really craving, we were hungry. And then all, all we had, we had just something with meat. So I think that was the first uh, um, um, thing it brings in my mind because hunger also brought me mm -hmm. again to, to mm -hmm. the same food, which I didn't really, felt good but I then I had to have it mm -hmm. because then there were, weren't other alternatives to to eat just that mm -hmm. you're an adult now so you know yeah. how to cook how to eat how to yeah. so you're in a completely different mindset now yeah 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 okay lots of things come from my childhood you know hunger is one of them I don't want to be hungry I'm going to get weak something's going to bad happen to me and stuff yeah mm -hmm. yeah okay that's very good so let me just go around and ask everyone if there's anything left just all also maybe put it that put it in the chat how it feels if it's still you got a couple of you know intensity you might want to go around start tapping and find out you know what is left work on the whatever is left but just um just briefly come on if it's okay with you just tell me emma i'll start with you because you are right at the top What's the intensity for you now? How does it feel? It's probably about, probably about two now. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. Thank you. Okay. Um, what is left? What sort of emotions are left? I really like the fact that you gave the power of um, I'm choosing me rather than the habit of you know, mm -hmm. the chocolate, for example um but i feel like i could take it or leave it now but you're still too there is still something there yeah yeah but i feel like i'm a lot more in control of it now but i will still recommend okay. you to work on the two whatever it is because if there is different yeah. levels, different aspects anything coming up you can just tap to release it let go you don't need to hold on to it again mm. if you feel like something is coming up there's still some underlying issue yeah mm. so mm. instead of reaching out to chocolate or anything else just start tapping and concentrate on your body saying what is it that i really really want from this yeah 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 thank uh, you you're welcome alistair um it's interesting because i struggle with meat cravings as well so for my comfort eating we started off at a 7.5 and that's specifically with the cheeseburger went down to near a six and then it's kind of closer to a 4.5 because when you were doing the memory exercise, I always remember being four years old and my parents had taken me to, of all places, McDonald's. Some good psychological programming there, isn't there? Yeah. Um, and it was the whole idea of how food was love and safety. And like you know, you're saying about the chocolate cake and chocolate cake is love. For me, it was like the idea of us eating together. Mm -hmm. and my dad is like vegan now and my mum eats healthily and then I f find that I still crave these foods because I think that yeah. that I want to be close to them when things are bad yeah. so I will want to go and have the same things that I had when I was small so yeah. it's reduced in some ways but opened up many questions in others yeah there's a lot you see you need to do lots of work in this sort of childhood and stuff. Did you manage to get the love from the cheeseburger? Put it in your heart? Yeah, yeah. I think I might need to do that exercise a couple more times. Yeah. But there was, a, there was a definite shift and I felt like unlocking in different parts of the body. Where there was I'm... some resistance. I felt it. So you, yeah. there's a couple of things you need to work on that area, sounds like it. Because I knew that you was like... <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. You were opening your eyes and stuff. I was, I was writing. Yeah, don't um, write it. You don't need to write it. This is recorded and it's on the Facebook group. <laughs> as well. You can go and watch it. The important thing is to do it. Be in the moment. That's yeah. where the power comes from. Yeah. 
but you did really good, but you still need to do, you know, a couple of rounds to see what's happening. And then, you know, Alyssa already done my EFT training. So it's just finished. Was it last weekend? Yeah, I think last weekend, mm. wasn't it? Yeah. So you know exactly what to do, how to do it as well. What about you, Sangita? How did you get on? Um, interesting. There's a lot of conflict going on in my head because mm. I was trying to stop listening to what you were telling Monica and try and word it for my own craving. Um, because I'm comfortable with the level of meat I take mm. and didn't want to upset that balance for myself. <laughs> Yeah, it, it you don't have to. You can always change it. You know, just like I said, concentrate on yourself. That's yeah. the important thing. Yeah, so I was trying to word it for my own needs, if you like. And similarly, some things did come up from childhood. Yeah. Um, so mine was sweets, chocolates, things like that. Any Any sweets. I'm not convinced I crave them. I think it's more a habit. It could be, yeah. Um, so I think I need to work on the habits that yeah. make the me go in, Yeah. You know, I end up in that circle where, you know, it is it is a habit I feel now that mm -hmm. I'm not, I wouldn't just sit here and go looking for a chocolate anywhere in, in the world, but I yeah. would definitely want it after... I've had a meal or certain times of the day, I'm having a coffee, I want something sweet. Yeah. It's habit, I think, more. Yeah, so I like think habit. I've got to work on that, but I've also, it's interesting, some things did come up from childhood, you know, uh, chocolate and sweets were restricted, uh, um, either from a uh, monetary or a health, mm -hmm. both issues, you know. Yeah, we got we got a chocolate as a treat. It wasn't yeah. freely available. Yeah. So maybe so the thing yourself. is, yeah. when I see sweet, I see chocolate, I think, oh, I need to have it all now because yeah. I may not get it. Who because knows? It's a treat for you. You want to treat yourself. You're giving love to yourself at the same yeah. time as well. Yeah. Like you might not have it as well. So why not now? Yeah. You see, but then you see the subconscious stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But then you see the thing is you, you think about it in, in childhood, it was a treat restricted by your parents or whatever. Now it's freely available. So why am I still craving it? Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's there. So I don't need you to. You want to treat yourself. You still want to give love to yourself. You yeah. want to feel special. You want that feeling back, isn't it? It's all yeah. about feelings. Thank you. That's beautiful. Yalda, how is Simon is feeling now? Let me know as well in the chat what sort of craving he has. Um, what about you, Zainab? Actually, it was very weird for me because I was craving for crisps and my ratio was nine, but now I feel like three and four. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I just tried to focus on why I want it so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I go back to my childhood, I remember that my sister was giving me a surprise. And uh, and also my family doesn't allow me to, didn't allow me to eat any junk foods like crisps or popcorns mm -hmm. or fries. My mother didn't cook any fries. We weren't at home. I can only eat it maybe at special events or maybe with our neighbors or when I visit to my uh, any relatives because it we weren't allowed to eat it. So now I'm feeling like because I I couldn't eat it, but now I can, and uh, everything was very healthy food until mm -hmm. maybe end of the university i eat all healthy food i have to eat it because the others are were unhealthy but now i feel guilt when i order from the online but i also enjoying it because mm -hmm. it's good it's junk mm -hmm. and also i can yeah so i start thinking like well why i want to do something just because i can yeah even though it's unhealthy yeah and comes with the guilt 
Um, yes. So I was trying to think of like this. Um, also, the crisps tastes are so good, but with the, with our sessions, my body feel like burning. My body doesn't accept it. I was trying to feel like it's on my mouth and I was trying to swallow, but my body doesn't accept it. But my brain is like, but this is good, but it's burning under my throat. Fight. Fighting against the crisps. Yes, definitely. Interesting. So it's very interesting. I was just trying to, how will I feel this good taste? <laughs> instead of crisps yeah it's not good though is it just do a couple of rounds it's not good just feel exactly what's this you know whatever like monica did what are you putting in now what's in the crisps all this fat poison. you know and it's making your body really acidic and stuff do you really want that you know no, i don't want different way of looking at it isn't it yeah so it will be really weird for me i wouldn't think i will think lots of things just because of crisps just because of i want crisps Thank you. You're welcome. What about you, Jenny? Um, so the licorice, specifically the red vine brand of licorice was a seven for me. It was connected to a childhood memory of going to the movies with my parents, but specifically my dad. And that was the only time that we would ever get this kind of licorice. And I just remember sitting there next to him sharing licorice with him back and forth before the movie started. So um, it went down to the four and then we would, we did the memory, where, where is this memory located? And it went down to a two and I know why it's at a two and it's because of that memory that's connected with my dad. And so though it is in my heart um, for me to just completely give it up because I can't just go to my dad now these days and say, hey, let's share some licorice. I don't have that opportunity anymore to let go of that um, feels like I'm just going to completely lose that, that memory with my dad. So it's, but you won't, I know the you importance won't. of it. Right. Memory still up there, but yeah. it's up to you. <laughs> Two yeah. is still pretty good. Number. Yep. Very good. Debbie, did you manage to work on anything? I know that you don't have any cravings. Yeah. Well, um, that that's, um, I suddenly realized, but, um, I, I absolutely have to have great rose, rose chicken slices oh. just before going to bed. I like the energy of great rose chicken. Okay. And, um, but, but with, when um, working on Monica and um, her, her saying about how she didn't think meat was a good thing, I, I thought to me it probably is because I only have like two slices of chicken a day. Mm -hmm. I, I live on fish and all, all this um you know fruit and lots of healthy food but um i honestly feel that i i um I, my thoughts just have a way of running away with themselves mm -hmm. so i think to do this to get it through to me properly i would have to do this on a one-to-one -one basis okay i don't in a group session like this would be great I, i'd have to be on the hot seat but i think i went down to four okay that's still pretty good yeah. What about you, Alb and BY? Do you want to share anything? How was your one? Or you can put in the chat. Has it gone down? It looks like everyone's craving has gone down quite significantly. So if you want to share as well, feel free. I know you guys are there. How is yours, Alb? Has it gone down? Your baklava, Turkish baklava. <laughs> yes, it significantly went down. But I realized that my craving is not that dangerous compared to others. Okay. So I, I felt much better myself to see somebody is worse than me. So I wasn't really craving, actually. It was like a habit, like was Sanjita habit? mentioned. I felt the same uh, things uh, as she mentioned. But uh, now I have the uh, full power, I would say. Okay, that's to, good. Uh, bring down the levels if I feel the danger to my body. But like she said, I don't feel that danger now. Mm -hmm. Maybe tomorrow the doctor will diagnose with uh, something like diabetes, diabetes, and then uh, I will need to reduce the levels. But now I know how to do it. And mm -hmm. thanks to your uh, training. You're welcome. Just join the other ones as well, feel free. And I do have a challenge this evening that's starting in my Facebook group, Spiritual okay. Self Mastery Lunch. It's um, kind of three days. It's called Phoenix is Rising. 
So we talk okay. about limiting beliefs, fears, uh, you know, being a light worker and empath and stuff. Quite nice stuff, actually. I think everybody needs. So if you're on the Facebook, feel free to join us as well. Yes, I look forward to it. Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you for joining and sharing. BY, do you want to share or do you want to put on the chat? It's completely up to you. No pressure. Okay. So any questions or anything before we say goodbye? You're all okay? Um, Yada, you haven't let me know um, the how is Simon is feeling now. So if you want to put the craving down as well, that'd be really great. So great. Um, if you don't have any questions, enjoy your Valentine's Day. Give yourself a lot of love. Hopefully that help you to give yourself some love as well, because we're taking the love from the food. We're giving to ourselves. Don't forget, because love is always available to us. So it's a Valentine's Day. Love yourself more. You know, give yourself a lot of love. Okay. And it's lovely seeing you. Hopefully I will see you tonight as well. Um, and you can join the challenge and we work on your limiting beliefs, we work on your fears and do amazing work together. And if you want to carry on joining, uh, next time I might do maybe limiting beliefs uh, and you can put your name down for the hot seat as well if you haven't do it, done it yet. So think about what limiting beliefs you have. You know, some people think it's like, you know, I'm not good enough, maybe... Um, there could be lots of different things. Maybe I'm ugly or something. These are all limiting beliefs. <clears throat> and we can work on those to let them go as well. But if you got anything remaining, you know, any sort of um, number, just carry on tap another 10 minutes because this was only 10 minutes. I normally do this like 90 minutes. <laughs> but with 10 minutes, we managed to reduce Monica's because she was always <laughs> almost there. She just needed a little bit push. And if you got anything left, just work on it a little bit more. You know, the tapping point side of the hands, you know, the face points and everything. Just keep repeating yourself. Look at your emotions. Tune into your body and release it. AFT is amazing. And you can use it for many things. You can use it for physical pain. You can use it for, um, you know, uh, traumas. You can use it for many, many different things. Even like stress and anxiety. All you need to do is like, Concentrate on your stress and tap, you know, say I'm stressful, I'm stressful, I'm okay. You know, I'm stressful, but I'm okay. Just kind of feel it and just release the stress, release the anxiety, whatever you're feeling. Because if you let our emotions build up, we become like a pressure cooker. We might explode very quickly and we don't want that. Yeah. All right. Lovely seeing you all. And I will see you in week Sunday. All right. Have a great one. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.